Yesterday, uh, we as sports fans, thanks to the brilliance of NFL films, were taken inside that trick play, the fourth down play at the end of the first half, the Philly special as it is known. Um, and, and I could see you. You were you were in the periphery of uh, the conversation of what Foles had with Doug Peterson and obviously in that huddle. Walk me through that fourth down moment, Zach, when you were going through it yourself. Yeah, you know, I think uh, we had a play call up before that, and then I think they called a timeout, correct? Correct, sir. That's when I thought you were going to settle for a field goal at that point, to be honest with you. Yeah, so, yeah that was kind of the mindset that I had going. I was like, okay, we'll probably kick a field goal at this point. Um, and then I'm walking over there, and I'm hearing them talk about Philly Special, as everyone knows what it's called now. I'm like, wait, it's fourth and one from the one-yard line, and we're going to call Philly Special with Trey Burton throwing the ball. Uh, myself, Alshon, Nelson aren't even in the progression. Uh, we're going to throw the ball to Nick for a touchdown on fourth and one from the one. I, 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 I honestly couldn't really believe it at the time, um, but obviously it worked out. Trey, former quarterback, made a great throw. Nick is a very underrated athlete. Um, so, I mean, obviously he was able to catch the ball, but to call that play on fourth and one right before half when probably 99% of coaches would uh, would have just taken the points was a huge play in the game, and I think it speaks volumes about our head coach. So do you, you have no quarterbacking history at all, Zach, for you to make that throw potentially in Philly special? Uh, I played it one year of high school, um, and then I moved to wide receiver from there. So – my uh, so uh, so my history at the position was a lot further back than when Trey Trey obviously played it in college. Um, so I never even got a look, unfortunately. Well, you know what I'm trying to do because I like going next level as a broadcaster. Everybody's trying to make a quarterback controversy out of Foles and Wentz. I want to make one out of you and Trey Burton right now. What do you think? Exactly. I think I could beat him. I mean, I think I, throw a be- I think I throw a better ball than Trey. I'm not going to back down from that. There we go. You're a competitor. That's the competitor of you coming out. Chris Brockman, tweet that out. Quarterback controversy <laughs> right. nobody ever saw coming from at Rich Eisen Show. And let's, let's stir it up right here. The Rich Eisen Show, weekdays at noon Eastern on Audience.